Soon the third piece in this program will begin. Soon the third piece in this program will begin. You start returning from the lobby. You start returning from the lobby, walking towards your seats. You spot your seats. You talk the last words after the break. You produce Fusiform gyrus. It's a name of a specific part of your brain lobe that is supposedly, in a light of more recent neuroscience discoveries, responsible for face recognition and face misrecognition. When I first came across the, this combination of two words, somehow that was already like a starting point to think about the exhibition of sculpture. And when I say exhibition of sculpture, I think you have to come to see it and to in a way verify whether it confirms to what you think sculpture could be. I wanted to go beyond the face, but of course there, there are faces in the exhibition. Often it's your own, at least like twice, it's your own face that you see in the mirror of Aditya Mandayam or of Sasha Suhareva. In one case it's a mirror that is produced using an ancient recipe by Sasha in Moscow. In the other case, it's a mirror that has a recipe on, of an aphrodisiac from 18th century. And uh, in a way, like the way I think Adi sees it, it's, it's like a double reproduction because mirror reproduces you and of course aphrodisiac is about reproduction. So it's this conflation of reproduction. There are several sculptures that don't necessarily have uh, a volume that you can touch. So let's say Elana Narbuteta, uh, has a laser sculpture and it's a volume of light in the space that you can go through, you don't necessarily touch it. So to me it's also like the exhibition is a lot about properties in transit, properties like color, shape, uh, thought, things they migrate from one domain to another, they change, they affect each other. I knew that Eduardo has been speaking to birds for, for a long time. When I met him last year in Buenos Aires, he was in his balcony and he was talking to birds. And I asked him whether he could actually re record it for the exhibition as a sound piece or as just a sound, because it's very beautiful and at the same time it really plays on not only how we couldn't communicate with other species, but also how we recognize things and how things are mimicked. I've been interested lately in living sculptures like the ones that you meet in the street and they are made of bronze or mar marble but then they, they suddenly move and they go back home. And in this exhibition we work with Meet Warlock who is of course far beyond what living sculpture can be because she becomes several sculptures, she becomes uh, objects, artworks and together with her crew she is doing performances tonight where we will have uh, guests at the opening that have never been to the opening at Lisbon. Probably, like, you know, they've never been to any opening before.